here we have another question where we will use both arithmetic and geometric sequences okay question 11 three numbers form an arithmetic sequence the common difference being 11 if the first number is decreased by 6 and second is decreased by 1 and the third number is doubled the resulting numbers are in the geometric sequence determine the first term of arithmetic sequence okay now let's read it again and uh, try to do the question three numbers form an arithmetic sequence common difference being 11 first three numbers okay so first part three numbers with common difference 11 so what we can do is let the numbers be x and then it could be x minus 11 and x plus 11 do you see we could take these three numbers which are in arithmetic sequence where the difference is 11 correct if the first number is decreased by 6 so what we are trying to do here let me do it first number decreased by 6 means it becomes x minus 11 minus 6 correct and the second number is decreased by 1 that means I'll do this as x minus 1 and the third number is doubled that means I do this 2 times x plus 11 the resulting numbers are in geometric sequence so when we do all this so first we had arithmetic sequence right now we have geometric sequence what this combination we need to determine first terms of arithmetic sequence so we got now geometric sequence so what is so special about geometric sequence the thing is that the ratio of terms is constant so that gives us one equation that means this term divided by previous second divided by the first is equals to third divided by the second right so we will use that property see x minus 1 divided by x minus 11 minus 6 will give us x minus 17 right should be equal to this term which is 2 times x plus 11 divided by x minus 1 so that is what it gives us now here we have only one variable and we can always solve for it x right remember x is not our initial term x is 11 more than the first term now we'll cross multiply to solve for it so we get x minus 1 whole square when you do this times this equals to 2 times x plus 11 times x minus 17 right now let's expand it so when we do that we get here x square minus 2x plus 1 equals to let's expand this also right so we get 2 times x times x is x square minus 17x and plus 11x and this becomes 17 times 11 let's use calculator right 11 times 17 equals to 187 well let me write these terms here and I'll bring all the terms on one side so okay so I'll write 0 equals to so I'm writing I'm expanding this 2 times x square 17 minus and 11 plus will give me minus 6 and times 2 will give me minus 12 right and 187 times 2 let me do that 374 and bringing these terms on the right so minus x square plus 2x minus 1 so we get 0 equals to 2x square minus x square is x square minus 12x plus 2x is minus 10x and 374 minus 1 will be 373 We did a mistake here 
11 times minus 17 was minus 187 and we wrote we didn't write anything so it's minus 187 here so that minus 187 translates to minus 374 and then we have minus 374 minus 1 as minus 375 okay we did not write here minus it was 11x and then we forgot to write minus 187 and with this minus 187 when multiplied by 2 will give us minus 374 and minus 374 minus 1 is minus 375 okay so that is 0 now from here we can use the quadratic formula to calculate the value of x so x is equals to minus b which is 10 plus minus square root of b square which is 100 minus 4 times a is 1 and c is minus 375 square root divided by 2 times a which is 2 correct now if we solve this let's use the calculator to solve this quadratic function there we get square root of we'll do 100 plus 4 times 375, 4 times 375, which is equal to 1600, and square root of 1600 is 40. So we get 10 plus minus 40 over 2, correct? That gives us two answers, right? So one answer is x is equal to, if we use plus 40, so we get 10 plus 40 is 50, 50 divided by 2 is 25, so we get 25 or we get if we use minus then we get 10 minus 40 is minus 30 divided by 2 is minus 15 right so these are two x values but we need to find what determine the first term of arithmetic sequence now which is the first term of our arithmetic sequence the first term is x minus 1 right x was our center term second term right Therefore, the combination is x is this. If we do minus 11 here and minus 11 here, we get our first term, right? The first term for us will be, so let me write this as here, t1 is equals to 25 minus 11, which is 14, or t1 equals to minus 15 minus 11 as minus 26. So that is our solution to this problem. I hope you understand how we did it, correct? Note this correction we made. We forgot to write minus here and then 2 times minus 187 is minus 374. Combine the terms, use the quadratic formula and got our values. Okay? I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.